On this worksheet, we're going to go through a few different types of problems involving acetals and hemiacetals. The acetal and hemiacetal functional group contains a carbon that is single bonded to two oxygen atoms. The hemiacetal has one hydrogen attached to one of the oxygens, while the acetal has only carbon atoms, no hydrogens attached to the oxygen. So the first problem that we're going to do is just simply classify each one of these five molecules as being either a hemiacetal or an acetal. And what we want to do initially is just to find that oxygen, carbon, oxygen portion of the molecule. That's the only part of the molecule we really need to focus on. If there is a hydrogen atom attached to one of the oxygen atoms, that makes the molecule a hemiacetal. I'm just going to abbreviate HA for hemiacetal. For our second example, we're going to find the oxygen, carbon, oxygen, and then what we're going to do is just look at these oxygen atoms. Do they have hydrogens on them? These don't, so this is an acetal. We'll just call that A. Here's our oxygen, carbon, oxygen. Again, we want to look at these oxygen atoms. Do they have any hydrogens? These oxygens do not have hydrogens, so that makes it an acetal. Oxygen, carbon, oxygen, and we can see there's a hydrogen, hemiacetal. And then our last one, we have our oxygen, carbon, oxygen. Look at those oxygen atoms. Do they have any hydrogens on them? They do not. That makes this an acetal. The acetals and hemiacetals are formed when a ketone or an aldehyde reacts with one or two alcohol molecules. If you have a ketone or an aldehyde, either one, that is reacting with two alcohol molecules, you are going to get an acetal. Again, I'm just gonna stick with that A abbreviation. If you have the ketone or aldehyde and it is reacting with only one alcohol, alcohol is not starts with a C, alcohol, then you make a hemiacetal. So um, when we're predicting the products of this reaction, we definitely want to be paying attention to the number of alcohol molecules that are involved in the reaction. Here we have two alcohol molecules reacting with a ketone. A ketone plus two alcohol molecules will give us an aldehyde. Let's predict the product of that aldehyde. These are actually kind of tricky. So what we're going to do, I'm going to begin by just redrawing the ketone, not making any changes to it at all. To turn this into an acetal, what I am going to do is take the carbon-oxygen double bond and I'm actually going to split it into two single bonds. So I'm going to take one of these, I'm going to try to just grab one of these bonds and I'm just going to kind of turn it a little bit. So I'm just trying to split this guy and then I'm going to get the other one and I'm gonna do the same thing, just sort of split it. So I'm just taking that carbon-oxygen bond and I'm just splitting it into two single bonds. And in this process, I'm giving both of those bonds, making sure that both of those are single bonds to an oxygen. This is where we get that acetal functional group. Now on the other end of these oxygens, I've gotta add, add something. And the stuff that I add comes from the alcohol molecule. So in the alcohol molecule, what I want to be focusing on is not the OH portion of the molecule. So I'm going to find the OH portion of the alcohol and I'm just going to straight up ignore it. This is the portion of the molecule that I'm going to be adding to my oxygen atoms. CH3, CH3. Let's keep practicing that. You just do a few and you'll get the hang of it. So we'll begin by drawing that molecule, drawing the original ketone. We're going to take that carbon-oxygen double bond and we're going to turn it into two carbon-oxygen single bonds. We're going to attach something to the either end of those oxygen atoms and what we attach is coming from our alcohol. We want to ignore the OH portion of the alcohol. This, what's left, CH3CH2, that's what we're going to be adding to these oxygens. Like that. All right, hopefully that one felt a little bit better. Let's try another one here. Draw your aldehyde. This case is an aldehyde. Take that carbon oxygen double bond and split it into two carbon oxygen single bonds. So we've, we're giving this a second oxygen atom, two single bonds. 
We're going to add stuff to those oxygen atoms. What are we going to add? We're going to ignore the OH of the alcohol. What is left, a CH3, that's what gets added to those oxygen atoms. So far, all of these that we've made are hemiacetals because we've had two alcohols for each one of these reactions. But now we're going to, or sorry, they've all been acetals, not hemiacetals. But now we're going to be doing some hemiacetals. In the next couple of examples, we have a ketone or an aldehyde that's reacting with only one alcohol to make a hemiacetal. But we're not going to really do anything that's significantly different here. So we're going to take our ketone, carbon-oxygen double bond, we're going to take that carbon-oxygen double bond and turn it into two carbon-oxygen single bonds, and we're going to be a a attaching stuff to the oxygen atoms. We are still going to go over to our alcohol, we're going to ignore the OH part, and the rest of that, that's what we're going to attach. But we only have one in this case. So that means we only have the ability to put one of those um, alcohol things onto the oxygen atom. And on the other side, because we've used up um, our alcohol, on the other side, we're just going to get a hydrogen. We'll just put a hydrogen. And this is what makes it a hemiacetal. And again, this is because we only have one alcohol. We're only allowed to put one ethyl group, CH2, CH3. The other oxygen atom just gets a hydrogen. We've got one more of these examples that we can do. We're going to take that carbon-oxygen double bond. We're going to turn it into two carbon-oxygen single bonds. We're going to attach stuff to those oxygen atoms. We've got an alcohol, but we only have one. Ignore that OH group. Put whatever is left. We're going to put that onto one of the oxygen atoms. And if you're wondering, oh, you know, where should I put this CH2, CH3? Should I put it here or should I put it over here? It doesn't matter where you put it. You can put it on either side. Uh, since we only have one oxygen at, or one alcohol, that means that our other oxygen atom has to get a hydrogen to make a hemiacetal.